Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I wanna do a multi 4K review. Now it's gonna be a series I start because I haven't gotten a chance to review every 4K. There's so many releases now. So I wanna review them in a little bit of batches once in a while. So this is gonna be a batch and this is gonna be movies that I really enjoyed for the actual film itself and the picture quality was a standout. So let's start out with a house with the clock and its walls. So I'm gonna go over the story very briefly on this one, but I will say this is a movie that's fun for the whole family. It has a really good message overall about your uniqueness, about a family's uniqueness, and about maybe not being shy about one's uniqueness or one's personality or one's family traits or things like that. And I just like the overall message behind it. And I like Jack Black's performance and I really like his comeback this year. Now let's get to the picture quality on this was definitely a standout. This was digitally shot and this is a bold, vivid, bright, vibrant movie. So the HDR really really pops on this disc and you get a ton of detail digitally shot to the point where it's almost plasticky at times and looks fake and this is one for the grain haters that will really really love it now let's get to the sound quality on that disc because that sound quality is phenomenal the Amos places the clocks within the house ticking all around the room all around the overheads it is fantastic and definitely a reference atmos track all around now let's get to the next movie on the list and that's going to be a simple favor now i really like this movie when it came to the actual movie i saw this one in theaters and i really like its take on the thriller on like the lifetime genre because it's kind of a parody of that but at the same time took itself a little bit seriously and had you thinking who did it? I really like Anna Kendrick in it. I really like Blake Lively. She had some crazy outfits and looked super, super hot and everything. And when it comes to the picture quality, let's get straight to it. Another digitally shot film and another bold, vivid, and bright, vibrant movie. All the outfits in this movie are lusciously colored. All the landscapes are very bold and bright and vibrant, and the 4K brings a substantial upgrade to that, just like the house with the clock and its walls. Now, it's not as pristine as an image like that, where it's looking fake at times, but it is a very clear digital image with a nice increase in detail and depth. The HDR also brings nice punchy colors to the mix, like I stated before, and nice nuance as well. Now let's get to the mix on that. So that's a 7.1 mix and has the good surround sound, but mostly is used for the score when it comes to surround and is a decent overall dynamic mix, but a thriller, so nothing crazy when it comes to surrounds. Next up on the list is the digital title, and that's gonna be Boy Erased in 4K. Now, I watched this last night on iTunes, and I gotta say, from a movie standpoint, I was pretty blown away, and I was not expecting this. I think Lucas Hedges, Russell Crowe, and Nicole Kidman all blew it out of the park with their performances, and I think this is complete Oscar nom bait worthy. This has to make the list for at least an Oscar nom. I think this movie was so well put together and it hits on the conversion camps that are legal in 30 some odd states still right now um, for, for homosexual and gay and lesbian people. And it's conversion camps and it goes into what goes on at the conversion camp, what the how Lucas hedges his character, how he grew up, his coming of age, and it's just a really good coming of age story that a lot of people can relate to on a lot of different levels. And I really like the story because it doesn't just take his acceptance into play, but it also takes his father, who is a pastor's acceptance, and his mother, and they're all big roles in the church. So it's a great movie, and I think it's one that must be seen for anybody who likes the usual Oscar contenders. Now let's get to picture quality on it, and this is actually going to be brief with picture and sound. This is not a movie where a picture really boasts the most crazy picture quality, but this is a nice picture quality. It offers a small increase with the HD for, to the 4K. It's a more filmic transfer. This was shot on 35 millimeter film. It is a 4K DI. It does offer a nice increase, but it's nothing to write home about and not one where you necessarily need the 4K, but I think for the asking price on iTunes, it's more than worth it. Same thing with the audio quality. Now let's get to last but not least on the list, and that's going to be the Equalizer 2 in 4K. Now this is a Sony release, and the Equalizer 1 in 4K was pretty much referenced, so this is great as well, to, as to be expected. There is a nice increase in the 4K when it comes to detail and depth, and the HDR brings a nice 
boldness to the colors and in those night times gives a nice shadow detail increase. Now the Dolby Atmos soundtrack is also good utilizing the overhead speakers and surrounds in a nice way and a very dynamic mix overall. So anyway guys I hope you like this multi 4k review. I wanted to just highlight a couple of 4k movies that really stuck out to me and really stuck with me the last couple of weeks that I wasn't able to highlight. Let me know down below what movies you would like me to cover in the next multi review. I'm going to be doing one this weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one.